guys can't even imagine how many things have changed since Wee Teen's disappearance. Blood was shed. Social media has gone to an all-time low. And many popular viewers have been silenced. No one is willing to do anything about it. My name is Cypher Rage. I am doing this recording for my final hours. To all the people who wonder where Wee Teen is, I'm sorry to say that he is dead. And even if he's alive, he's lost somewhere and I doubt he'll come back. If you wonder why I'm like this, it's because our town got taken over by an evil dictator. He is everywhere. No matter where we go, he follows us. And if we don't play by his rules, we die. I just wish things weren't so fucked up around here. Oh god, that's them! You may have a lot of questions, but I'm not sure how to answer them. You're probably wondering how I'm still alive. Why am I here, and where have I been? I came out of reviewing a long time ago. Welcome on the side of the road a few months ago. Left town and I never came back. I've been living here ever since, and... Ever since then, I've been living a very simple life. It may be simple, but... It's peaceful. I only have one question for you. Why do you think I can possibly turn back to that? Because we need you, man. Didn't you hear? Hear what? Our town got taken over by a dictator. I escaped from that hellhole to find you. Why me of all people? Because you're the only one that can stop it. I gave up for a reason, sake, boy. For my own health and for your safety. Well, now we need you back. Listen, this is out of the question. I don't want to go back there. I won't get hurt. It's too dangerous. Fine. If you really gave up on us, then I guess we'll want to review this. Here's a video you'll want to see. Just look at it, and if you decide to come back, give me a call, and I'll be back here. Hold on. I might take a look at this. Well, on a few ground terms. Once I get too fucking pissed off, I'm done. And you're doing most of the work. If you follow my rules, you can stay here. Don't worry. It's pretty, um, quiet here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. All right then, turn it on. My God, where do I even begin? How about the beginning? All right, let's get this over with. This is the return of Chef. It starts with a recap of a previous episode that apparently never made a lot of day 
Tell us that Chef is leaving for the Super Adventure Club. Hello there, children. He's back. Owen to come back a few seconds later. But he doesn't act exactly like himself. Wow, it seems like you had a great time with the Super Adventure Club, Chef. They sound like really interesting people. Yeah. But now that you're back here, does that mean you're not in the Super Adventure Club anymore? No, no. You're welcome to stay here with me until you buy another house. Thank you, Jimbo. That's not Chef's real voice, isn't it? No shit! Now, there is a side story behind this. Sega Boy, take it away. Fine. Apparently after the episode Trapped in the Closet, Isaac Hayes left the show due to the fact that the writers were really killing Scientology, even though Hayes was a member at the time. So instead of trying to bring back Hayes back for one last episode, the writers instead tried to use his old voice clips of Chef. And trust me, it's really fucking noticeable and really fucking lazy. You bet. Goodbye. Children! Well, how about I meet you boys after work and we can make love. I'm going to make love to your asshole, children. I specialize in your asshole, Kyle. But that's not the worst part of the episode. Oh, don't worry. It's coming. Anyway, she just accused of being a sex offender at school and the boys try to track down the Super Adventure Club to find out what happened to him. Hey, you guys. You know what they call a Jewish woman's boobs? Jubes. Because Carmen is only now used to make Jew jokes. So the boys ask the leader of the club about what happened to Chef. And it turns out that, get this, all of the club members go around the world to rape children. Yeah, not kidding about this. But I'll bring this back up later. Trust me, it will be of good use. So the boys find out Chef is brainwashed too by the Super Adventure Club. Which is definitely not a metaphor for something else. Anyways, they bring Shed to a psychiatrist and he recommends to take Shed to a strip club in order to snag him back to his old self. It works until Super Adventure Club tracks him down and catches them all. And they reveal their big secret. He discovered that children have things called Marlocks in their bodies. And when an adult has sex with a child, the Marlocks implode, feeding the adult's receptor cavity with energy that causes immortality, so saith the ruler of Bethos. Hey, why don't you guys check with the members of Scientology? I'm sure you'll fit right in. Phineas traveled the world, loving many, many children. And he lived for eternity. Until he was hit by a train in 1892. You know, I'm way too smart to try to argue against this bullshit. Do you realize how retarded that sounds? Thank you, Kyle. So their top-notch security tries to throw him out, but they manage to beat them and break Chef out. And now, here comes one of the most insulting deaths I've ever seen in a cartoon. How bad? Possibly even worse than this. Oh my god. Yeah. But this is something that has to be seen to be believed. So let's watch. You know, even with all of Kenny's unfortunate deaths in the first five seasons, this is the most forced in death in the entire show. And then to top it all off, a funeral's health for Chef, and Kyle says this notorious line. So you see, we shouldn't be mad at Chef for leaving us. We should be mad at that fruity little club for scrambling his brains. Okay, I have several things wrong with this. First off, they're cool to talk about Hayes' departure from the show during the Scientology episode. But the worst part about it is that the writers and the episode completely blamed the members of Scientology for making him leave when it was clearly their fault. They were the ones that kept the Scientology episode the way it is. In such like this, who do you blame? The people responsible for creating the first episode or the group the episode was offending? Yeah, now you guys can see how fucking stupid this all is. And the final nail in the coffin was the ending. We see a resurrected chef in a robot suit similar to Darth Vader, 
And then the episode just ends on a fucking cliffhanger that will never be resolved. And the closest chance to ever seeing Chef again is in the fucking video game. Oh, while the episode's pacing was all over the place, and Chef's departure from the show was poorly done, along with the situation surrounding it. I still think Life of Brian is worse because at least the episode wasn't involved in a giant ass blow by the writers. But still, this episode really took a shit on Hayes' character. There, I'm done. So you're gonna help us? No, I, I can't. Why not? Because I just know that if I start reviewing again, it's gonna put me in danger and everyone near me in danger too. I think they won't forgive me for what I've done. What did you do? I faked my heart attack. I got so out of control that the only way for you guys to be safe is for you guys to stay away from me. So I faked my heart attack and I pretended I was dead. I hired some guys to take care of me away out of town and start over. I did all that because I'm too dangerous to everyone, including you. Well, you know who's more dangerous? The dictator. He moved a few months ago with the army and took over. Why? To look for you. Really? What was his name? General Malin. Oh my god. Only a few ever stood up to him, but they've never been seen again. Cypher was going to stop him, but I haven't seen him for at least a month. Cypher's missing too? Yeah, but if you don't really give a shit about us, then I'll just leave. Wait! Take me with you. Really? What changed your mind? I'm not doing this to save my town. I'm not doing this to review again. I'm doing this to save my friends because that's all that matters. I might be put entirely to blame for obeying you guys. But to be honest, it's better to come back later than never. By the way, if you think we're gonna put a Halloween special after all we went through, then you're gonna be real fucking disappointed. It took a lot of work to put this together, so just be patient and wait until next year, okay? Thanks. See you later. Oh, and um, happy Halloween.